more than 50 arrivals and departures a day, Cross Sound Ferry runs a tight ship. It's one of the busiest ferry hubs on the eastern seaboard. Stan Mickis says many people rely on Cross Sound Ferry for easy access between Long Island and New London, Connecticut. But they may not know that one vessel in particular has a rich history. Cross Sound Ferry purchased the Cape Henlopen in 1983. She's a former LST, the USS LST 510, which participated in the Battle of Normandy during World War II. The Cape Henlopen, then the LST 510, landed on Omaha Beach during the invasion against the Germans, and its role in history earned it a battle star when it was retired from service. Cross Sound Ferry has hosted reunions in the past, and sailors who were once stationed aboard the Cape Henlopen returned. We take pride in the fact that it was once a World War II battleship and uh, its role in history and, and what it did to preserve freedom for our country. A recent renovation to the cabin educates passengers about the Henlopen's wartime past. We wanted to be able to share the history of the vessel with our passengers and our customers who have ridden on the boat for years and did not know the history of the boat. The North Fork itself has a rich agricultural and maritime history that has helped make this eastern end of Long Island what it is today. A draw for visitors and a source of pride for local residents. It's a destination and it's a place that a lot of people are proud of. You could get away with never having to go to a grocery store here because everything that you can think of is being made on the North Fork. I just feel like it's a wonderful place to call home because of the people here, because of what you can build here in terms of friendships and family. When people say, oh, you're from Long Island, you're from the city. And no, this is a high, high agricultural area and uh, hoping that it can remain that way for generations. You know, thanks to veterans and, of course, the Internet as right. well, the Cross Sound Ferry was able to find the plaques and the pictures they have on display on the Cape Henlopen. Oh, and Stan McNiss actually keeps in touch with some of the World War II vets, and they were able to visit the Henlopen for the 50th and 60th anniversary of D-Day. And that is Chronicle for tonight. I'm Shana Seymour. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great weekend. Hope to see you back here again on Monday night for another edition of Chronicle.